get my camera straight. Hello, I am live, and I'm making my mother's salad dressing today, but I kind of put my twist on it, so it's Cindy's Italian um, salad dressing and marinade. Now, um, what I use, my mom used just regular cooking oil, but what I do use is avocado oil. Avocado oil is good for you. It's as good as olive oil. It has 10 grams of monounsaturated fat per tablespoon. So I've decided to use that instead of cooking oil, just regular vegetable oil. And I'm going to make it in a mason jar. So it's very simple to do. Um, got my jar here. I've got one cup of the avocado oil and I'm pouring it in there. I've been needing to make this because I've got salad to eat tonight, and uh, I will put the recipe up on here when I get through. Um, that's one cup of oil. I'll use one-fourth cup of lemon juice, and this is the lemon juice. Put the lemon juice in. One-fourth cup of white vinegar, plain white vinegar, not apple cider vinegar, plain white vinegar. Now, I'll put the seasonings in. Um, my mother used a half a teaspoon of salt, but I use about a four, well, one teaspoon of salt. I use about a half a teaspoon of salt because we have enough sodium already in our foods, and it doesn't take away from the flavor of this. Okay, and then one teaspoon of sugar, and I don't use sugar, but what I do use, because I don't, you know, we can get away from sugar, y'all. So I use stevia. I use one packet of stevia, um, which could be about one teaspoon. That's all the sweetness you are going to need in this salad dressing. It's all healthy for you. Um, a half a teaspoon of oregano. That's my oregano. I hope y'all can see this. If not, let me bend it down a little bit more so y'all can see. Okay, so it's my oregano. Don't want to waste any. Then it's going to be a half a teaspoon of dry mustard. Now this is dry mustard. You get it in the jar just like this. It comes dry. So there's your dry mustard. Now, garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, not garlic salt, garlic powder. Excuse me, y'all. Let me put the recipe in front of me. Um, a half a teaspoon of paprika. Regular paprika. Don't use smoked paprika. Just regular paprika. And you see it's filling up the jar pretty nice. I will tell you something about this, too. It will keep on your counter without going rancid for at least a week. If you want to put it in your refrigerator, you can put it in your refrigerator. It might have a little solidification to it, but sit it out on your counter just for a few minutes and let it get to room temperature, shake it up, and whatever you want to put it in, and then it's, it's going to taste just fine. But me, I'll leave it out because I've tested it. And that's why I know it doesn't go rancid. Because I put a lot of this through a lot of tests before I would bring it to y'all. Now, um, the next one is an eighth of a teaspoon of thyme. Now, a little bitty eighth of a teaspoon, that's the fourth of a teaspoon. So, I'm going to put like a fourth of a teaspoon of thyme in there. Mama put an eighth. Cindy put a fourth. Okay, and the last thing to go in there will be the cloves of crushed garlic. Now, you use two cloves of garlic crushed, or you can get the kind in the bottle, the jar already made. And what you would do is use a half a teaspoon to three-fourths of a teaspoon for each clove of garlic. And I measured it out in my little cup, put it in here. And 
I, like I said, I tended to it and I cindy fied it. And uh, now I'm putting it in my little mason jar. Wait, let me stir it up a little bit. I want to tell you something. This salad dressing cuts my cravings for carbs. It cuts, uh, I mean, it is so good on everything. You can even marinate your meat in it. Excuse me for the noise. You can marinate your meat in it. Um, overnight in a plastic bag but I'm gonna tell you I'll put it in this jar right here give it a shake shake it up y'all hear that see I, I use this and it looks like this and it just popped which means it's done no but I can put it in a um, salad uh, jar I mean uh, a salad dressing jar if you want to use a salad dressing jar be sure and wash it out real good if you want to put it in there dump the bad stuff out get you a salad uh, jar of salad dressing at the store or something you don't like dump it out rinse it out wash it real good and then you can put this in there but remember this is a 16 ounce jar so it's gonna make that much so um, all together and I will tell you this is delicious it has just that much of bite and just that much of tanginess and just that much of sweetness that you want. It is very, very healthful. Healthy. Healthy, okay? So if you're looking to go on a more healthy diet to cut the sugars out, to lower your sodium, then you would want to, I would say, try this. Now, the olive oil I use is Chosen. And the reason that I chose Chosen, and I've looked at others, is because it is cold pressed and it is refined without chemicals and we don't need any extra chemicals in our body and when it's the first pressing of the cold press like olive oil it's just like it this is avocado oil though i know it's turned around but um the first press the cold press and that it's refined without chemicals and that's what i use and it only takes a cup of it I have doubled the recipe in the past, but one recipe of it, if I, I could just, if I had a salad made already, I'd tell y'all, it is so good, but I'm planning on having it tonight. Matter of fact, I can dip chicken in it. I can dip any kind of meat in it. And this is what it looks like when it comes out. It looks beautiful. Now, when it sits out on the counter, it will separate because there is vinegar and lemon juice and the one cup of the avocado oil um you if, you if you wanted to you could use olive oil but i'm telling you avocado oil has no taste whatsoever it tastes just like cooking oil um and that's why i use avocado oil because it doesn't alter the taste of this and i wouldn't want to alter i'm not going to tell you alter the taste so anyway i shook it up real well i'm going to put all the ingredients on this video and um, so this is from Cindy's Kitchen. Let me see if I can get a little empty bowl here. And I just, I got me some little containers because I plan on doing cooking videos. And who knows what I'm going to come up with next. I'm going to pour it in here so y'all can see exactly what it looks like. But I promise you, I have tested it on, uh, I had test subject, okay? And I have tested it in the refrigerator, out of the refrigerator, leaving it alone. I've tested it, what I will use it for. And look, look at this beautiful salad dressing, okay? And meat marinade. You can, uh, so it is nice, it is aromatic, it is it smells heavenly. But anyway, um, if you need any instructions, go back over the video. It's very simple to make. You just have to get a few of the ingredients. I'll, quit, I'll fix that up. And uh, me, I put mine in a mason jar. I've got a lot of cucumbers to uh, fix, so I got a dill, well, can of some pickles. But anyway, I use a lot of mason jars. So see... That's how much it makes, and what can you not put it on, all right? I'm going to tell you, it's great. 
I'm going to give you my word on this. It's great. And uh, the first time I put it on a salad, I ate the salad before I ate any of the rest of my food. And I actually didn't want um, any carbohydrates. I didn't want any bread. I didn't want any crackers. I didn't want any chocolate. So, you know, it may curb your craving for chocolate for those who like chocolate. So, it's good. It's healthy for you. And it's homemade. No chemicals, no preservatives, made in the right way, and made in your kitchen, which is going to be the best place you can make it at home. And it keeps, too. And I bet you, you will love it and go through it great. So, thank you so much for watching me. My name is Cynthia Laughlin. This is Cindy's Kitchen, as you can see. And we are dining at the King's Table. Thank you so much for watching. And I will... Um, Type in the ingredients when I'm through. Thank you. God bless you all. Have a great day.